Hello everybody and welcome back to Molgard for another episode of Stonehearth. And let's kick things off this episode by renaming some people. So we've had some suggestions. Sir Walds in the comments, you suggested that Sips Inverse up here should change his name to Woody. And I agree. So we're going to do that there. Let's save his name as that. And you suggested as well that Thessa, Thessadessa, there we go. We've recently made her a farmer. She's working with Corin, who's farming carrots. So she should be called Karen and farm corn. And again, I agree with you. I'm in a very agreeable mood today, actually. So Karen is now going to be her name. I'm going to save that off. Uh, one more. We've got Angela suggested down in the comments that Trilla our trapper, who's going to become a shepherd, be called either Feline, Feline, or Leona. Now, I tossed a coin, it was tails, we're going with Leona, basically. So, it's a little bit dark at the moment, because she's trapping animals and killing them. But later on, she's going to be looking after them, so it'll be better. Actually, I didn't star that. Let's star that name. There we go. And finally... Abby Strawden Page, you suggested that we rename Abby Strawden to Abby Strange. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't really get the reference. Does that work? There we go. Abby Strange. I don't get the reference, but I'm going with it. I'm going to, I'm going to roll with it. She's, uh, she's going to make an all right fighter if we just like randomly bring her in. So maybe I honestly have no idea. Anyway, so with all the renaming done, what were we doing last time? We started building another house. So let's start that off. Um, our new person appeared and she's going to be, she's a farmer isn't she, so let's, actually while we're here let's pause the game. We have a new farmer, we can deal with double the farming space, so let's drag ourselves out. We need to get some bright bell flowers, that is kind of important. We need our healing items when the big fights start to happen. Especially early on as well before we have a cleric. So there goes three healing, and then we're going to get some silkweed to make some better clothes with and the tailors, and some bandages, it's always important. So we've got three of them, silkweed, and then the rest of them, got to give Karen a job, so we're going to set them all as corn. Alright, and there we go, that is all those set as corn, so we're going to continue playing. We're going to get our guys to build that house up, and what else can we do? We are going to need, no, not pausing, we don't need to do that. Continue moving at fast as fast a speed as we can. Oh no, we do need to pause. We have been attacked. Who is attacking us? Uh, I think that should be okay for now. Who, 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 who is attacking? Where's notifications? Invaders? Oh, it's just some little guys. Oh no, we need to get our woodcutters back inside. So we're going to call town alert so that nobody ever has to run for their life. And then we're going to attack move over here and then continue playing. So she runs away and there we go. So Fight Club doing a good job. Slow it down to normal speed. We'll actually select Flight, flight Club. Fight Club. <laughs> and uh, look at her stats. I've just noticed, actually. Down here in the little character panel, she looks a little bit like Chun-Li. Hmm, fitting. I think that should be good. We can let everybody go again. And that's good o good o good o good o you are, eh, you're not too close to level 2. Um, a couple more fights and we'll be at level 2, I think. So it's all good in the hood. Uh, do we have anything which we need to do, I suppose? Uh, or can we just speed through? Ah, we need to harvest. We need to remember to keep harvesting these flowers. And I can probably get away with adding another building on the go, actually. Um, just so that our guys don't run out of anything to do. Let's uh, turn that back on. Rotate this round. So that's going to be touching it. And that's going to be one away. It's going to place that just there. Rufus Garrow. Hello, sir. I'm going to slow down to normal speed while I trade with you. Um, you've got nothing that I want to really buy. So I'm going to sell you half of all the stuff we're maintaining. All of those. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done all of them because we need one of them for the house. Oh, well. Um, we're going to sell half these. Uh, half of those, keep us down to two, we'll sell all of our pelts and everything like that, and that should be good. So yeah, I think that's in a good place, we're going to build that, yep, start building. And there we go, that is the whole list sorted out, we're drawing into the night and we've got our house almost finished, we probably are going to need some more wood, so while I'm thinking about it, let us harvest all of the trees over here, and don't worry about deforestation, we can get our farmers to plant some uh, in 
the coming fields when we get higher level farmers and more of them. So it's not too much of a waste to cut them all right down right now. So I think that is all we need to do. Oh, not pause. That's all we need to do for today in this little section. Our carpenter's busy at work, busy at work building the houses. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll fast forward through until something interesting happens, I suppose. There you go, morning breaks. We've got some more of the work done. We're beginning to chop down the trees. Um, we are busy planting our fields again because the harvest came in. Uh, we've got some of the flowers on the go. That's, that's good to see. Uh, what else do we have? Daily update. That is important. Did we get a new person? Did we get... Yes, we did. We got a new person. So, who are you? Sam Pounder. That is not the person I expected for Sam Pounder. Um, wow, you've got a good spirit. Uh, okay, buddy. You'd make a good archer, actually. You need to join the military. I'm going to keep you... Uh, I'm going to actually add you to the military now while we have the chance. So, Sam Pounder, well done. You've just been conscripted before you've even joined us properly. And we'll continue playing. And we have another person for our little fighting force, so... It's, uh, it's good, we're growing in strength. It's exactly what we need to do right now. Let's zoom out a little bit more. Carry on watching, hopefully we can get this house finished. And I mean, oh, we have the bed in there. We can assign it to our new person. Assign it to Sam Pounder. Oh, a little bit of lag while we save up. And Karen achieved level one in farming. Well done, you've been here one day, I think, and you're already up to level one farming. Although what we do need actually is a blacksmith so that we can get a chef's spoon and then we can actually promote one of you into a cook and we can get some better food for the colony. So good, there's another bed down. Who are we going to give this one to? I think we should probably give this one to... Oh, a trader approaches the town. That bed assigning will have to wait a second. No, trader disappeared. There we go. Trader approaches. Accept. Trader will be back in 20... I don't know why, I just accepted. Um, two stone moles and six ones. Okay, it's it's not bad. <laughs> I had a I had a horrible feeling there, like I just accepted something that was going to be impossible for me to do. Um, let's craft ourselves six of them and put them right at the top of the list, so he gets on with that before anything else. And we'll carry on playing. He's going to go over there, start cutting them up for us. Hopefully, making a sword. Yeah, that's what we want to see. So stone mauls are pretty good. Um, they're going to increase the attack damage of our, of our little military force here. We've got, what is that? That's, um, actually, that's that's Chun-Li on the left. And we've got, like, Darji on the right because of the color scheme. <laughs> it's just a, just a street fighter area, isn't it? Um, what else? What else? What else? It's making good progress on these. Why aren't you working on the roof? Why are you guys not actually working on this roof? Or are you about to? Ah, oh, I can see. There we go. Yeah, they are, they're about to get on with the roof for that. Bringing all the scaffolding down. Going to move out a little bit. Precisely what we need. Do we have enough wood? Yeah, it looks like we've got enough wood. That's fine. Oh! An animal was just uh, brutally murdered over there by the looks of things. Oh dear. Um, we've got a farmer doing hauling. That's not good. Do you not have enough work to do? We should do in a second. These carrots are growing pretty quickly. Well, I mean, we're going to get to the end of the second day already. I'm having to fast forward through a lot of this. Okay, so the roof just being put on that house there. It's about to be finished. We're going to assign this bed to... I don't know. Let's pick somebody random. Uh, Woody! You're good. You can, you can sleep in that one. So we've got our two military huts. And then we've got Woody in this one over here. So our farmer's hard at work harvesting those carrots. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get a new person tomorrow. Uh, that's really what I'm what I'm hoping for. Uh, everybody's going to sleep though. How much have we got done construction-wise? Are we still we're still missing a door? Come on, guys! It's not really a house without a door, is it? There's uh, not too much left that needs doing by the looks of things. Um, apart from this house, I need this house built. I need it built now. Blossom, you've achieved herbalist level one. That's brilliant. Herbalist channel the spirits of the forest and gains natural regeneration, willpower and diligence increased. That is pretty good stuff. What can you make now, actually? So let's pause up before we got our daily update. What is new? What can you make? Energy tonic. This tonic will make your town citizens less sleepy and move faster for a short while. I don't know if that's going to be useful, if I'm honest, because don't they get more tired afterwards? 
Um, buff stamina of our halflings. Uh, increases the courage of the town citizens for a short while. And then buffs muscle of all the halflings for a short while. So that is basically steroids in a bowl right there. Um, ah, but we can make bandages. Yes, that is exactly what we need. But we need a bundle of fiber. Ah, how do we make a bundle of fiber? I don't know, honestly. I think we might need a tailor. Um, which might be a bit of a problem. So we're going to have to stay with just using these health pots for the moment. Uh, but the sun is coming up and we are getting a new person. Let's see how much of this house we can get built before they before they get assessed. Come on, come on, just waiting for the daily update. Daily update, there we go. How much was built? Oh, just enough. That is good, good, good. We have another new person. Gem. Gem Homer. Gem Homer with some sort of Karate Kid headband thing on. What are your stats? You are 322. Pretty average, if I'm honest. Hot-headed. Gem Homer will never voluntarily back down from a fight, even if ones they probably should. So basically, you're not joining the military, because I can't be dealing with that. Herbivore. Gem Homer is a friend to all animals, plants less so. <laughs> I like that outlook. I'm vegetarian because I hate plants. I want them all to die. Give them to me now. Um, yeah, okay, so we can... Possibly. Well, we've got enough farmers. I don't really know what you need to do. You're not particularly skilled in anything as such. You're kind of an all-rounder, so I don't know. We definitely need a mason. I'm going to have to promote you to a mason um, and get you building. Uh, I need to wait for you to pick it up first, but then I will start off building the mason's crafting thing. I think because the last two days went so fast, we're going to go for another day this episode. So... I'm going to play through another day and see what we get. Oh, what we get is attacked, apparently. So where are they? Oh, you're not nice. Okay, we're definitely hitting town alert. And we're going to get both of our fighters over here. And they're going to attack this thing as soon as humanly possible. Because that, that is not a nice thing right there. Oh, look how much damage he does. That's not good. Although he is going down. He is going down pretty quickly. I think, I think we're going to be good. Oh, and this is going to be some good XP as well, so it's uh, it's good. We're going to get a herbalist, some stuff to heal up. It's exactly what we needed, really. There we go. And it's over. Everybody back to work. Did I say you could slack off? No. Corrin has achieved farmer level three. You are making my day right now, Corrin. The farmer coaxes greater yield from each plant. They honestly look like one single carrot, so I don't know how you're coaxing more carrots out of that. Unless you're just cutting them off, like cut them in two and convincing the other workers that it's two. I don't know. I'm not going to speak to their, their brain power, if I'm honest. <laughs> Actually, let's see with our fighters, so fight club character sheet. Yeah, you're, you're a decent way to level two. That's not that's not bad. Of course, when they get to level three, we can start specializing. That's what we really want to do. So we've got a raccoon just casually hanging out and a chipmunk down here. Oh, just just jumped through you. Oh, well. um, Rufus Garrow, you've arrived with where's to sell. Oh, they're having a little chat. <laughs> yes, that's it. Have a little chat. Be friends. This is a nice village. Anyway. We're going to sell some stuff. We're going to sell two of them. We're going to sell uh, all ten of them. We're going to sell all of our skins and leathers and things. Don't need any of those. Sell two of those, two of those, and two of those. We've still got enough for what we said we'd give that guy, so that's fine. Um, we doing okay for supplies? Looks like it. Looks like we're pretty good for supplies. House is coming together. All nice and proper like so. Oh, trader returns. Uh, I'm back. It looks like you've made the six wooden swords that I forgot to read out before that I asked for. Are you are you still willing to trade them to me? I'll give you two stone moles in exchange. It definitely sounds good. I will definitely go with that. And there they are. Hopefully our two military people will go and pick those up as soon as they can. I've just remembered we made a mason, but we never made the mason's actual workbench. Let's get working on that. Um, we'll speed that up. As soon as that exists, uh, we actually want to set in an order for these. So we're going to maintain four of those as an order. 
and we're also going to queue an order. I'm going to maintain 10 of these. That's going to level them up nice and quick. So, three. Hopefully somebody comes over and picks these up. Oh, they have to go into the stockpile first. Okay. There we go, that's good. Coming into the stockpile right now. There we go. So we're going to place down our workbench that we made. Make a nice little uh, crafting alley over here. Let's line that up. And there we go. So somebody's going to go place that. And our new mason will get to work. Let's speed through until that gets placed. Ah, oh, there we go. Brilliant. The other house is complete. We're going to place down another one. I know they're all the same and they are in a line, which is not great design. Um, and I didn't mean to rhyme. Uh, but uh, it's basically these are just basic houses. We're gonna we're gonna customize them. We're gonna rip them to pieces. It's all gonna be good. But we need these as our starting spot. So yep, start building that now. All the parts have been added to the queue for the carpenter. Hopefully, yeah, they have. That's all good. Uh, Gem Homer achieved Mason level one already. Blimey, you only made two things. Haha, uh -huh. the Mason can now make solid array. Oh. Miss what it said. What can you make now? Oh, there's nothing too new. There's some stone piles. They'll they'll help out later when we start running out of item. We have an item cap with our town. The more villagers we have, the more items we can own on the map. And uh, stone stockpiles get round that somewhat. So you can store, I think it's 18 stone in a single item instead of just one. So we'll definitely get on that when we can. Foundation for house number four. My word. It's all it's all kicking off in here. There we go, Woody. Wow, carp to level five. You're breaking my brain, man. Health level ten. It's uh, pretty standard. Trapper level four. It's all happening. Backpack size plus two. Trappers become more efficient at packing in the loot. That is all all good stuff. Um, when can we upgrade you to a shepherd? I think it's pretty soon, if not already, right? Um, we need crafted. Just we just need a shepherd's crook. That's that's literally all we need. Can we make one of them? Is that a thing that we can do? Shepherd's Crook. Ah, oh, we can. We needed a carpenter level 5, so it's all planned out pretty well. Uh, we're going to craft one of those for now. And then I think that is all good. What does that require? Carpenter level 6? Okay. Ah, oh, but we can make some comfy beds. We're going to need our tailor to make some bolts of cloth and get those comfy beds on the go, because their bonuses way outweigh anything else. How are we doing for morale these days? Oh, we've got a couple of people that are feeling glum. No. What's up? Slept outside, ate a bland meal. My meal was raw. Ah, we definitely need to work on getting that cook. That's something we need to focus on, really. How close are we to getting a... Uh, where is it? How A cook spoon? Cook spoon? Mason level two. So our mason is... Chasing all the loose ends is what we're doing at the moment. Where's our mason? Oh, you're almost level two. There'll be no time. Daily update! This is where we're going to pause it. Yeah, we got a new person. Baxter... Fast Rider. Oh, that is a magnificent beard, sir. That is that is one magnificent beard. Are you blushing slightly? Oh, I can't can't take the compliment. Um, what have we got in your character sheet? You have, <laughs> to be honest, you're very specialised. You would be a better blacksmith than anyone else. Maybe I should make you a blacksmith, or should you be our second shepherd? Ever since Baxter's Fast Rider saved. Their raccoon from immortal danger. They've been inseparable. Is this your raccoon? Oh, a uh, night owl. The day only really begins once the sun has set. That is good to have another night owl on the team. So equipment. Yeah, that's all standard stuff. You are probably going to be um, a shepherd then. But you're good at crafting. I'll make you our second mason when it comes around to it, I think. Um... Yeah, raccoon befriended by Baxter. Release pet. Oh, no, I definitely want it. We're going to keep our little raccoon around. I don't know if I can rename it. Can I rename? I can rename. So the raccoon is up for renaming. Okay, so um, with that, thank you for watching. We're going to leave that off here for this episode. Oh, we've got a bit of a problem with this. What is what is the issue? What is the issue building? What is What is wrong with you? Not enough stone. Oh no, we're gonna have to go mining a little bit more. 
And with that, thank you for watching. We've got some more people whose names are up for grabs. Um, we've got Sam Pounder, part of our military. We've got, honestly, that's a pretty good name for the military anyway. Uh, Jem Homer is our blacksmith. I'm considering changing that for Baxter Fast Rider because Jem Homer hasn't done that much at the moment and she's a pretty good all-rounder. Probably gonna, in fact, you know what, we're gonna do that now. You're gonna just become a worker again. Sorry, you've been demoted. Um, and Baxter Fast Rider, you sir. You are going to take her place. Hopefully there's no there's no bad blood between them, but there we go. We've got these names to do then. So it is Sam Pounder, uh, Baxter Fastrider, Jem Homer, Sean Presting. All need names. Not forgetting Baxter Fastrider's raccoon. If you want to name them as a duo or what have you, leave the names down in the comments section with the name that they currently have. As ever, all the names that are up for grabs are also in the description. Uh, leave a like, it really supports the channel and also shows that Stone Hearth is a series that you wish to see continued. And leave a subscribe if you're new, like, share, favourite, all of the things. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stone Hearth.